Right, well, I'm back again with another little episode of the uh, lime kilns, and uh, there's another signboard here which I'll take a picture of so you can see. And it tells you about the area we're in now. Sam's coming, he's oh. under the bridge. Is there something that way? Um, yeah. Oh, we'll go down that way in a minute then. Um, we'll look sign. at this little sign. It says a little sign over there, and it leads to a, like a Thing, I oh, I see. Oh, we'll have a look, look at that in a minute. After I've taken a, a little video of this uh, particular bit. So this is meant to be part two. This is, uh, yeah, this is part two of the uh, the video. Yeah. And uh, make sure you watch part one. Everyone. Up there, yeah. past that uh, area, you can see there's a truck on top of a raised embankment. Yeah. That leads down from the mountain, so the which was the Welsh. Uh, or the English, I think it was called the English uh, inclined plane, which brought the trucks down. I made a mistake before, it wasn't that one. But if we go underneath this bridge now, we follow Sam through, and uh, this is a bridge, and over the top, trucks went down to the Hoffman Kilns we've just been to, and uh, this is the remains of a little bridge which took the truck apart. Another golf ball, everybody seems to leave golf balls around here, I don't know why. There's another little part of the woods. If it's meant to be a trail, you're meant to follow the golf ball. It could be. Who knows? This is an area. It's very overgrown, so it's very difficult to tell what it was. We have got a map, but uh, it's not that easy to see all the various bits. Now, what's here, folks? <coughs> oh, this is the tally house. Ha! Ah. Now the tally house is interesting, this is where they kept records of the uh, counting of how many wagons loads of uh, limestone came off the hill so that the men would be paid for how many uh, carts or whatever they made and they'd get paid by how many uh, pieces and this is where they kept the records of that and it's known as the tally house. There's a dog up here, so I don't know whether he's going to be friendly or not. Hopefully. He's off the lead, unfortunately. But he's wandering off. He's a greyhound, so they're usually calm. Sam doesn't like dogs very much. So it worries him when he sees a dog off a lead. But this is... Oh, there's, a, there's two. There's two greyhounds, unfortunately. A black one and a black and white one. There's a lot of dog, a lot of dog going on around here, which is a bit of a nuisance because people bring their dogs and they don't clean up, which is a bit of a shame. But this is apparently the uh, tally house. It isn't as big as I thought it was going to be. But there's a cart waiting outside, and presumably I don't know whether they weighed the carts or just counted it by how many cart loads. But this is the end of the. Uh, the inclined plane that we saw on the hill where the uh, trucks would be lowered down and uh, this is the remains of the tally house so there's a sign in here so I'll go inside and just show you that there's a man there weighed so they did do it by weight he's got some scales so they're weighing it so this is went on in the tally house this tells you all about it there's a truck being weighed and they'd make a note of how much uh, it weighed and how much each person had uh, dug out of the quarry and so that meant that they'd get paid accordingly this is the weigh bridge where they weighed the barrels okay there's someone over there like like running or something oh no i think he's pushing there's another steel man over there Prince sam's just pointed out in the woods it's a little bit difficult to see, but there's a, a steel man and he's pushing a truck. There's no truck there, unfortunately, so he's pushing nothing, but that's what it's meant to be. It's meant to show that's the track coming through the woods. It's a bit difficult to see, a lot of branches about, but this is the inclined plane that came down and trucks would go along to that raised area. There's a, yeah, that's just a loose piece of track, I think, Sam. Look, and there's water coming down. I wonder how heavy the 
Oh, no, it's pretty heavy, I would think. I wouldn't try to lift it, but it seems to be sunk into the ground a bit. So, uh, that's a steel man pushing an invisible truck. And this is uh, another truck being weighed on the uh, weigh bridge. And they're quite heavy, these trucks. So this man here is, uh, he's weighing the truck and uh, in his hand he's got like a ticket so maybe they weighed it and if it was a ticket they uh, wrote down who it was who dug it out and who it was who's got to be paid uh, for uh, the stone that they dug out so this is the far end of the site i believe and this is a good view of the tally house i don't know whether this goes on round anywhere else do you think this goes around anywhere else, or are we out of the site now? This is someone's private property. It does look like a garden, doesn't it? Another sign? Oh, oh, the, oh, this, oh, the tunnels. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. We, well, I don't know about the tunnels. We'll go and have a little look. Oh, yes, there must be tunnels to get under the road. Because this... Um, quarry is in two is in two sections and obviously there's a road going along here and so there's got to be a tunnel to get under the road so that's interesting this is they would have had to bring the trucks down from up on the hill and it says uh, the tunnel ahead and just take oh, look, it says please mind your head going through the tunnel Oh. We're gonna go. Well we might do. This is your Then we'll go here. down this one. Oh look it says you are here, Grandad. So we're gonna go through the tunnel all the way up there. Well I don't think we're gonna climb up there, I think that's a bit that's too far. A bit far yeah. that. But that up there, I just pointed out, that was where we saw the big drum yeah. and where Sam was standing there at the top end of this inclined plane. And this is where the trucks would come down yep. oh, under the road or uh, yes under the road yep. and into the main quarry and in the olden days they didn't have um like cars so they just used to be yeah they're just horse and carriages going over yeah um. so in the quarry they did the open cast mining and there's some more kilns up in the woods which are very ancient which we didn't there. show in our video but i think those are them there they're up on the hill itself. So now we'll go on along yep. and have a look at the tunnels. No, they say the tunnels are a bit low. a bit low. They might be a bit low, but we'll go and have a quick look through the tunnels. There was two tunnels. I don't know why they had two, but maybe one came from the English uh, incline and then the other one came from the Welsh incline. I don't know. Well, they're not very far through. So we'll just pop through. It only just uh, covers the road itself, where the road goes over, so people Whoa! drive drive along here every day. Along, along these tunnels. There we are. There's the other tunnel. There's water running in that one. But this one would go up onto the hill. But I don't think we're going to go up there today. So that's the tunnel going through, yeah. and that's the road going over. Hmm. So we'll go back through the tunnel, yeah. and uh, it's just about high enough for me to walk. But it was only these uh, trucks that came through, carrying the limestone down. Then it'd be counted in the tally house and weighed, and then on down to the kilns, where it would be burnt and turned into quicklime which I'm hoping to see at some stage. They say they're going to fire up the kilns at one o'clock and it must be near that time now. Uh, fire up a replica, it's only a very small one, but even that has to burn for several days. So I don't know how they're going to get the, uh, the lime, show us how the lime's made, but uh, hopefully there will be something of more interest to see when we get further on down here.
well, now we're approaching the tally house again this is back where we started virtually this particular video it's been going 10 minutes so uh, we'll break off again now and we'll call this part two and uh, I'll see you again in part three. Bye-bye. <laughs>